So I've just let her back in the game. So let's start from my delightful bed. Oh, I even get the emblem on my bed. That is amazing. Don't know about the tapestry. Not really my favorite. And that's a really tiny bed, but you know, it still looks awesome. I have a desk that I cannot use because I do not have a chair. Unless you move the armchair, but there's a pot underneath. Mm, things that are making life a bit difficult. Another un unpleasant tapestry. Don't know about these rose lampshades though. Another desk that a student cannot use. Wait, is that even my bed? Wait, 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 which one's my bed? Probably this one because it's got nothing next to it. I didn't pay attention to which one was my bed. Interesting. Okay, so it must get cold down here. Oh, I love the attention to detail, the way that rug is not sitting flat and the corners flipped up. That's cool. Okay, we've got a basin. We can wash our face. Not that I can use it. I can't even physically get any closer to it. That sucks. I... Wow. I... Mirrors in the 1800s. Shit, apparently. Okay, so no... Okay, you've got a chair, though, that you can use at your desk. You're probably the only person who can. Oh, no, you've got a chair. You're a smart cookie. Where'd you get it from? Who'd you pilfer it from? I'm gonna turn down my... Oh, I don't know. My mouse. No, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. That seems more like a thingy. Yeah, I knew motion blow was on, but I don't feel compelled to turn it off, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's sound effects. Sound effects can go down a little more, speaking of which. Here we go. Cursor sensitivity. Let's take it down to a flat 0.8, shall we? Let's take it further than a 0.8, shall we? Cursor sensitivity. Let's take it to a 0.5. A nice... Oh! 0.5 is the lowest it goes. <laughs> I know I could slow my mouse down, but then it just goes too slow. Okay, it's just, it's just hyperactive. We're just going to have to deal with this. Where was the door. There's the door. So I'm no longer sure which bed is mine. I feel like it's this one here. I think we were standing on this side of the door before I edited the video. Beautiful door. We ram into it before we open it. Just pretty typical of games and doors. Okay, so that must be the common room. Yeah, find your common room. Can I go into other people's? Oh, the six years. Let's, let's not try and go into the six years. Okay, so we're first door on the right. Can I go into the fourth years? This feels rather invasive. Oh, they have a pretty plant. And everything else looks exactly the same. Plus a, a plushie of the creature I don't remember the name of. Then we have the third years. And the second years. And lastly, the first years. Okay. I think we can approach the common room from this direction. I kind of wanted to do it from my direction. But that's okay. Hello, common room. Hello. Food! Food is nice. That's the first thing I've eaten today. I went and saw a dude die. Do you move? Apparently not. Oh, hello. Who are you? Impressive. Okay, can I eat some snacks too? No? Enjoying your book. Oh, wow. We have a staircase leading to God knows what. And that's the common room. Look, you've given me a lot of exciting things to look at. Is this the same dude? Mm. Nah, it's a different dude. More food! We're growing less. Oh. What? Whose room is this? We're just eating everything. Dude, we are nomming on everything imaginable. Did that just move? It's playing chess by itself. How fascinating. Do they always play chess by themselves? Oh wow, that was the quickest chess mate ever. Checkmate, wow. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Okay, that's a thing I just saw happen. 
whose room is this? There's no, there's no placard. Uh, it says seven year, but didn't we already see the seventh years back across the way? It's a little odd. Wait, there's something behind you, sir. Excuse me, there's a chest here that I would like to investigate. I don't know how to unlock that. Come back to it when we have a level three uh, lock picking skills, I believe. Okay. Not as gratifying as I thought it would be. Eat oh, more food. Go for it. Oh, hello. You gentlemen don't move, but she does. Okay, so what does this say? Another door of the seven years. Are there just a lot of seventh years? Oh my god. You guys get ginormous cupcakes? I want a ginormous cupcake. God, I am just getting fat from most. Of look, look, it's been a tough day. I'm trauma eating, alright? Trauma eating. No one even thought to ask for a second if I was okay. How do I change my robe? Uh, not the button I wanted. You. That, you got me there? I want an eye, actually. Oh. Hold on. No. Does every button take me to the main... I'll wait till you tell me that I can adjust my wardrobe. I guess. I'm... Um, okay. Hush. Uh, maybe that leads to the male dormitories, perhaps? Are we... For you. A rumor that if you look through your barrels in the middle of a Christmas carol, you get a present. But it's always so noisy in the common room, and then I can't concentrate, so I end up just talking to everyone and nothing gets done. They really shouldn't allow food and drinks in the common room. Stepped in a puddle of butter beer the other day. Better than a failed potion. Oh, it most certainly is, sir. Ugh. Don't get the password wrong, is all I can say. Oh, what happens? <sighs> Are you laughing at me? Bruh. I appreciate that attitude. I suppose some introductions are in order. Oh, I meant to say, her voice sounds familiar, the way it's pitched. Hey. It is. I don't know, London? Oh, the, the, the news is already spread about George. Wow, the sass I'm being shown by my own house. I'm just standing here listening and looking and enjoying the sort of like ancient ruin structure we've got here. I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. Oh, sorry, did I touch you? My apologies. Is there anyone I can interact with at all? Um, why is your wand out? Okay, wants us to go speak to that person over there. Okay, introduce yourself to Imelda, Ominous, and Sebastian. I'm happy to do so. I'm just gonna check the place out first. Okay, that's another way. Just like that would be the other way to get to my place, okay. Hello, Why Sebastian. Do you know that? Can I help you? Oh! You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sala. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. Well, not everyone a friend starts in fifth Fitz, year. Who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Hmm. Glad you and Figure all right. Just. Um, sorry, I got distracted by everyone talking in the common room. I was going to say is, her voice pitched so low, it sounded very familiar to me. Not because of the voice actress, because they're just literally pitching the voice low of the main actress, from what I can tell, because it's so echoey. Same as when you pitch it up. Um, but, oh, look at the emblem on the front of my robes. Her voice reminds me of, oh my god, I've completely spaced on her name. How did this happen? Sophie Turner. Um, Stark. What's her name? Stark from Game of Thrones. Oh my god, my brain has just gone... Poof. Um, but yeah, Sophie Turner is who her voice reminds me of, given the, the low pitch of it. Uh, it was terrifying. It was exciting, I'm going to be honest with you. Also, we all know that I'm susceptible to using accents. 
um, I may point out I'm highly susceptible to English accents. So you will find that my accent is going more in that direction as I play. One, it is done intentionally at times like now, but uh, other times it's unintentional. I'm just very susceptible to hearing it. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? Oh, I can't. It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Brilliant answer. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. Thanks, Sebastian. Uh, what level, what grade are you? You seem more mature, so I'm inclined to say sixth or seventh. What were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. Oh, what were you I'm looking sure for? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Oh, interesting. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? The good ones. Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. Absolutely. Teach me the forgivable, <laughs> unforgivable that curses. <laughs> is a conversation for another time. I want to know the it good ones. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Look, guys. There is no morality system in this game. It has been confirmed. There is no morality system. I will, because you're killing people left, right, and center if you've seen the gameplay. I would like to learn the unforgivable curses. Oh. And I would like to exact excruciating pain on the people around me. Is, is there something wrong with that? Oh. Interesting, this room. It seems more like a, a relic room. What the hell are you? Oh, Lord. What is the time? Uh, you only have... Unless that's a hand, in which case it's 25 to midnight. I'm confused by your hands. And what are you supposed to be? You look very dramatic. Well, I like the decorating. Oh, we are under the lake. I thought so. Look, guys, it's been a while since I've read Harry Potter. It's been a while since I've watched the movies as well. Everything I needed to know about Hogwarts before I stepped foot in the up. castle, including how to sneak food from in the kitchens. I'm all, I'm all about learning that. Floor with my cousins, not the same here in the courtyard. Hogwarts has brought me and my siblings closer together. Aww. We've had to rely on each other without having our parents. Aww, involved. that's so sweet. I'm glad I don't have to stay in the castle for the holidays. I find the moving staircases unnerving when no one's around. You think you'd be used to it by fifth year? My siblings and I have all been sorted into different houses. Oh dear. Came as no surprise <laughs> to my father. <laughs> Must be hard to have a relationship. Nice to be here on my own for once. Ah, oh, so you have something that's finally yours. That you're not having to share with anybody else. Good for you. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Okay. I heard you first. We'll go speak to Imelda Reyes. I suck at chess, don't ask me. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Hi, Melda. You should have listened to me. He should have. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin. The one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. I did night. not barge in. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first it years. It was not my intention, I'm Imelda, Imelda. by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. Okay. I wish you had been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about I flying. I am keen about that. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Okay. Okay. We have some interesting companions here. Sebastian must be the same year as me, I guess, if we're talking to him. You seem to know a little about wizard chess, Imelda. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Really? Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves really? are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? I like you. I like you a lot, Imelda. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's Good nothing on you. like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. I like that you've found something that works for you to clear your mind. A lot of people don't find their, their thing and just live without a clear mind and it's really not good for them. So good for you! Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. You are an interesting cookie. 
I still feel like a sensitivity is off the charts. I had my sensitivity down on my mouse last time I played. Bloody hell, where was it? It was down here. Um, but I felt like it was too low, so I'm left with doing it this way. Or you bump it up and then you turn the cursor down. And then, it's, it's so laggy. No, I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. If this is going to be real jerky for you, I'm sorry. I just, I can't handle... Oh my god. We'll make do. Ominous Gaunt. Oh, you can see through the windows at the fishies! Was that, was that me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I was just going to say, are we going to see mermaids from here? I don't think they come that close to the castle. I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Agreed. We're nothing different ah, over the years. Based on all the chatter when you you're not the looking corner, at me. I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm ominous. Ominous gaunt. That sounds nice ominous you, indeed. Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. It was not my intention. More like terrifying. I do like to make an entrance, don't I? No, I really don't. Uh, it kind of feels like he would prefer that response, but. I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. He still won't look I at me. I can only imagine. Are you blind? Well, or are you just not good looking to at have me? You in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Oh, wow. These people are so nice and obliging. Aw. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants oh, of Salazar wow. Slytherin, one of the four founders That's of Hogwarts. That's cool. I'm sure a lot of people find the same. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. Up oh, true. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood mania. Still, it's a cool claim to be able to make. most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Are you warning me away from you? Do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. <laughs> Keeps them out of trouble, though, doesn't it? Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. I won't. I mean, I'd appreciate it if you would look at me. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Hi. Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Oh, right. She's taking me to my first class of the day. I still am none the wiser as to what you actually are. <gasps> it's a unicorn! <sighs> anyway. Okay. Hi. Bye. I've seen the sights. Aha. Uh -huh. I have not gone this way, however. A notice board? Can I read the notice board? I cannot read the notice board. It's not interactable. Oh, hello. What are you? <gasps> it's a pond. Don't stand on it. And more mermaids. Well, this has been a positive delight. I shall be back. Oh, 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 these tapestries. We have a kraken. Oh, they tell a story. Let me get to the top. Oh, this is a very different story. We have a sea dragon. Questionable intent. Then we have a kraken attacking a ship. We have the ship sinking far to the bottom of the sea. Oh, and then we go back to old mate. Okay. And then we have the angry sea dragon again. I don't know if the dragon's attacking the ship or what. It seems most unfortunate that you have both a kraken and a dragon attacking you. Hello! I, I can't unlock Good that chest morning. either. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. You better believe it, Professor Weasley. For a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. She's not wrong. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Mm -hmm. Especially as you'll be expected to complete oh, your shit. OWLs. Right, with fifth end of years. Year. God's a lot of pressure. OWLs. Owls. Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. 
Okay. Here you are. It looks great. I love it. What is it? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. Okay. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. I will do my best. Thank you. I put it in my sleeves of storage. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Indeed. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. Can we be slow so I can take in the this sights? Way. Oh, it's the mermaids again. What are you looking at? I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. House chest place. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. What's this? Ignatia Wildsmith. Something I cannot interact with. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't run ahead of me. I've got to figure out how to get to my common room. Okay, so... I mean, the, I mean, unless the snake's always going to stay there. So we've got to look for the snake on the floor. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming. I can't walk any faster. Okay, so look for the snake on the floor with the snake braziers. Got it. I'm coming, Professor Weasley. I'm sorry. The guide will give sorry. you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding Can you lore? not take, take the staircase in a fucking straight line, would you? Do what is up. your problem, lady? Okay, so it's by the dude riding a hippocampus. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide? I mean, I don't know who the dude is, but it's clearly a hippocampus. Revelio. Oh, you're calling it a kelpie. Whatever floats your boat. This statue depicts the kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to the Ireland and Great Britain. Did I say the island? Oh my word, the is on the next line, I apologize. Which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest kelpie ever reported in is a lost... <laughs> really? You're saying the Loch Ness Monster is a kelpie? Okay, you know, whatever floats your boat. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges will appear here. Okay, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience. Wait, what? Are the only way to acquire experience points or XP? That's shit. Just progressing the plot doesn't do it. Wow. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from the challenges increases your level and power. This is rough. I don't know that I like this. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. Okay. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Combat quests. Okay. So quests are considered to be part of it. And the room requirement, which we will go to shortly, I believe. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, from appearances to critical upgrades. Oh. Okay, I've lost my mouse, but sure. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Don't run away, Weasley. I'm looking at shit. It's saying I've unlocked some special glasses. Hogwarts Regalia Spectacles. I've already said I don't like glasses, but you do you. Oh, you can't even preview to know which one to focus on? Oh, that's just me. Give me my inventory. I want to change my robes. Is this not where I do it? How do I change me? I want to put my, my DLC items on. Gear? There we go. Cloak and... Oh, you can change your unders as well. It's not here. How do I... How do I get my... Where's my DLC robes? I must admit, I didn't pay attention to the uh, instructions of, uh... Oh, I could just run around without it. That'd be interesting. 
We could do that for a time, I'm sure. Um, yeah, but where is my ship? No. Huh. So how do I get access to the DLC robes? This is perplexing. Wonder handles? Okay. This is interesting. Oops, that's where we just went. Nope, that's something different entirely. 88 appearance items. Challenges map. Oh my, let's not get distracted or we're not going to get anywhere. Quests, no assignments. Welcome to Hogwarts. Start your first day. Okay, and then settings. Ah, they have level requirements. I see, I see, I see. Huh. That still doesn't help me change my robes into my DLC gear. Clever, isn't it? Hello. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like very inside and outside of the castle. I'm trying to interact with this thing, but it doesn't want to be interacted with. Okay, I guess we need another spell for Oh, we're going back up. Okay, we're going away. You just want to take me to the statue? Are you really casting spells as you walk? Doesn't seem like a very smart idea. Ah, it appears when you get close. Fantastic. Bye! Okay, look for the three-pronged snake. Got it. Revelio. Ah, good timing. Uh, the the Perfect chest. opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around Oh, so I can just flu flame to my... Your guide my... contains a map of the castle. Open uh, it up and find Central I'm Hall. I'm not ready to go to Central Hall. It's a chest right there, woman. Stop rushing me. But I can fast travel to my, my common room. You've discovered a flu flames fast travel point. You can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Oh, M does open the map. Fantastic. Uh, Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house, common rooms, and the great hall. Wait, so you're telling me Hogwarts is not actually a castle. It's a series of structures. How interesting. So we live here and the great hall is here. And then we have lessons here. A shame that we're not going to be able to appreciate the Quidditch field. Um, where is the great hall? Oh, you want me to go to the Grand Staircase? Sorry. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames you've discovered, including your own house common room. Oh, I can't have my mouse. Grey flu flames for a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the Astronomy Tower, Library, and Greenhouses. Select the library annex region to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use A and D to rotate the map and fast travel. But I don't want to. It won't let me leave. I literally have to travel. But at the chest, Professor Weasley, the chest. You're so mean. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You are right, though. That is a time saver indeed. The thingy! You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. But the paper. Where did the paper go? Does it come back? Oh, hold up, oh, Weasley. Something happening here. I've got to wait for it's it to go on its journey. And come back. Station, so to speak. Do I need to know Accio to get it, though? I might need to know Akio. I was just going to Revelio it, but... Something tingled. You tingled. Tinkled. Oh god, a lot tingled. Is that another... That's oh, another fl a flu... Flume. Oh my gosh, hello! The dragon. Yeah, I'm thinking I need Akio to get this thing. Yeah, it's not within reach. We need to learn spells, I think. Whack, whack, whack. So we've got a unicorn fighting a werewolf. And then some mermaids and then some whatever they are. That should be all for now. 
You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Oh yes, I lost everything. Tell me about Charms, please. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. And Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh, I can't wait to learn this subject. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Some data Defense classes. Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. Okay, okay. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. I need friends first for that to happen, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. You're not wrong. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. I don't remember. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm afraid there isn't, Professor. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak, Speak of the of devil. The devil. <laughs> Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in what the What does Professor Fig teach? My ah, money is still on transfiguration. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. What do you teach? Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. What do y'all teach? Today. And remember to use it your It seems like a very guide. basic question, it Weasley. Valuable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Thank you. Bye. Be with you in a sec. I'm just gonna go this way for a bit. What do you do with it? Not that obviously. I guess we do something with that later as well. And then there was one down here. Sweet baby Jesus, she is an angry game. Okay, I hear you. I hear you, Professor Vig. I am here. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you? Masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late you arrival. Most certainly did, sir. Uh, you did, sir. I didn't like to like. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. Until we can figure we out who we can trust and what this is this about. Path we've embarked upon will lead. Indeed. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of this is true and she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us understood professor good now as capable as you are 
I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Okay. Unfold it and have a look. Okay. You can now track available quests from the map. The golden icon represents main quests. Completing main quests will further the story, unlock new features, and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New spells can be earned by completing professor's assignments or as quest rewards. Professors, well, I don't have any assignments just yet, I suppose, so that's why they're not on the map. There are 150 field guy pages at Hogwarts. Ugh. Demi-guy's statues collection. Yep, sure. Track a quest with that to continue. Uh, well, she mentioned ch I want to do Defense Against the Dark Arts, but she mentioned charms first. So I like to go in order. Uh, the field guide map shows Professor Ronan's classes in the astronomy wing. This castle is enormous. I may need to use the charmed compass V in the field guide to help me find the way. Rewards. Accio! Yeah, bro, we need Accio. We will track that most certainly. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including <gasps> We're your own from Hogsmeade. Are we going to go to You'll Ollivander's? Mr. Ollivander. Oh. He's an exceptional craftsman. He has a store at Hogsmeade? I shall reach out when I have Weird. more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. Charmed compass will lead you to anything you're tracking. Yeah, I know. It's already... Oh. Oh, literally will lead you. Ah. Can I go this way now? I'm sure it could. That's a lock I cannot get past. Level lock one though, so you know, it's one of the basics. This is a positively delightful room. Or door rather. Where the bloody hell am I? Am I by the greenhouses? I am too. Ooh, side quests are now available. <laughs> I haven't even done a main quest, but we're doing side quests. Available side quests can be found inside regions of Hogwarts marked as a flag and discovered by exploring the world. These quests ex reward XP do not advance the main stable, obviously. Library Annex. Alright, those are just locations. Right, I see. But if I click on it... I see nothing. I am confused, but that is okay. This is a very confusing map. I feel. I feel it is very confusing. Given the verticality. Like, how do you, how do you tell, like, wow. That's just a mess. Well, my Hogsmeade's map. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I think we're heading out to the uh, greenhouses. I probably shouldn't be so inquisitive because we're going to come here. You look amazing. Um, when we go to... Oh, my word. Oh, my word. When we go to Herbology. I hear something. I told you I heard something. Greenhouse tree, situated at the center of a Hogwarts greenhouse. This giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and convoluted as the dragon. School's dungeons, I don't know where dragon came from, Jesus. Um, although technically I thought I heard something, yeah, to my left, which must have been you. No, that's just a flu. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I could view Ignatia. Aren't you a bright lass? Uh, no, no one, look. When do we learn luck picking? It's a skill I'm avidly interested in at this moment. This place is amazing. Rebellion. Something else is tinkling. Or does it just... Oh no, it's just another lock. And another lock again. Oh, there's trees behind there though. 
What does this door do? Oh, into one of the greenhouses. Another lock. Okay. Well, we are not here for class, so I better just leave. Because I'm about to get very lost. Let's just go to the end of the path, shall we? Oh, sploosh. Is there anything in the sploosh is there? Nope. It's so pretty. This place is just so goddamn pretty. Oh, there's something in there. Can I get in there? I don't think I can get in there. Or can I? You guys are just enjoying that? Where was it? Oh, hello! Oh, this is the professor! Can I speak to the professor of herbology? Nope, okay, well I'm just gonna take this. Dear Professor Garlic, oh that's unfortunate. How very thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favourite. Yes, British English. They're as sweet as can be, it's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn this skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of your students, I'm sure. Warmest regards, always. Eleanor Everly. So your daughter, a daughter, pff, niece, uh, Lenora Everly, or a different surname, I guess, depending on what gender your, your partner, your sibling is. What a name though, Professor Garlic, rough. A shame I can't speak to you though. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna tell you, motion blur has given me an absolute migraine right now. Okay, that's overstating matters. It's nowhere near a migraine, but I'm starting to get a little dizzy. So where did I find that earlier? Motion blur, goodbye. You are killing my head. That's what happened when I played, oh god, but it looks so much worse. Uh, when I played Hellblade, said it was sacrificed for the first time. Uh, I got an absolute headache, I felt motion sick from playing the game. It was terrible. It's just not so smooth anymore. Oh, I can't leave, oh, hello. Jesus, there's just money sitting there? I well, don't mind if I do. Ugh, it's not really as smooth anymore though. Why do I keep going in this direction? I know I can't get out from this direction. Back we go. I should stop exploring. I should just follow the main path. We're gonna come here eventually. You know, once once we get to the herbology classes. I should just stop exploring. Exploring bad. Bad mish. I mean, it's not really bad, but... Revenia. It's not exactly helping me get to my location. My destination. There are a few students here I'd like to have a house. I adore spending Sunday afternoons in the back of the courtyard. Aww. Oh. Central Hall Fountain. This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magic world, including a base... I keep reading the next line. Including a set of stone sirens circling the fountain's base. That was fun. I like that. I leveled. Go team. Do I do anything with that level or is it just, yay, congratulations, you leveled? I, I think it's definitely that. Oh my. I don't know where that leads. <laughs> Let's just be good and go where we're... Those question marks? Go where we're supposed to go. Very interesting. What does this even do? I'm gonna leave it on the Hydra looking thing. How weird. Excuse me, do you ever touch the ground? Because Ignes orum probat. Labor ipse voluptas. I don't speak Latin. All I have at home are brothers. I thought sharing a room with girls would be tough. Do I need to know Accio to get this thing? Oh. You have different symbols. Interesting. A puzzle already. Oh, hello. What? What? Oh, come back. I 
don't know how to go about that. I'm um, just going to wait for this page, however, and then I'll get right on that. And by get right on that, I mean probably Google it, because I don't think I have the skills for this. Can I, can I not grab this thing? I guess I need Accio. Okay, so how does this shit work? I don't get your mathematics here. Do you mean like legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen? I want to say, oh my gosh. One. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So something with three legs? That doesn't work. So it can't be legs. No one has three legs. I don't think. I don't think anything has three legs. You seem to only have one, you weird looking thing. No, that can't be it. I don't understand your riddle. And the other one. What does it mean? I don't understand your puzzle. I don't understand your puzzle at all. I could do trial and error, but by God, that's going to take a long time. Do you make a sound when you open so I would know that you're open? But what does it mean? Unless you're in order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In which case that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 10 is 16. So you would need 1, which is you. This is a terrible assumption. Don't judge me for this. Uh, 11 plus a head, which is 3. 11 plus 3 is 14. 21 minus 14, I hate math. 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So a lizard? I do not think this is right in any way, shape, or form. I brought sweets from honey to share with girls. Wait, are you pointing in other directions? No? You don't even have access to a lizard. So it's obviously not the answer. Obviously not the answer. I mean, that just didn't make sense I to me. Black could tell a few tales about but it's the only thing I can think of. I mean, how else are you supposed to attribute numbers to these things? Can't be heads because no one has multiple heads. I thought like limbs or you know distinguishable appendages would have been an obvious answer, but apparently not. Because what would this dude down the bottom be? Who bloody knows? You're not going to be one. But then, like, is he two because he's got two horns? I don't... I don't know. I don't know how to attribute value to these pictures. I am at a loss. I am leaving. To be honest, Hello. Oh, you can even hear it? Oh, wow. That is interesting. Viaduct entrance. Okay. Oh, it's right there. Just trying to get my bearings. We can go to Charms class in a moment. I'm going to Google how to use my DLC um, gear. Aha! Uh -huh. Apparently, if you go to gear and you hover over here and hit F for change appearance, I would never have seen that at all. Okay, okay, okay. So we have dark arts robes. Ugh. Oh, I don't like the way that that continually moves. If it didn't move, that'd be really cool because I like the cut of it. The cut's really awesome, but I can't handle the movement. And, and this is my unlocked robe. Uh, I was really excited about that, but I didn't realize how ugly it was for Slytherin. Jesus. Um, maybe this isn't the best option. Plus, it kind of clashes with your hair. 
uh, we'll roll with it for a bit, I think, and then we'll turn to it if necessary. Uh, do we have options for here? Dark Arts Ensemble. Oh. Oh, interesting. That's actually quite nice. Prefect vest, stylish vest. I mean, I can't. I can't tell anything with this this rope. Hold on, let me just change this just so I can check it out. Oopsies. Oh, interesting. Quite like that. It's quite cute. And then we can just take the rope off and just run around like that. Huh. Prefect vest and stylish. So the only thing difference is pattern and colour. That gives you dark as well. That gives you light, but it gives you a green tie, which I must pref say I prefer having the green tie. Hmm, I really wanted that DLC. I didn't realize how ugly it was. I feel really disappointed. I'd said, I'll leave it on for a bit. See how it goes. It's not really my favorite, but we discovered how to use it, which is something. Yeah, it's really, hmm. It's really unfortunate. Why purple? Oh god, it really... Oh god. It really does your face no favours. I am so sorry. It does your fa face no favours. I cannot. I positively cannot. So we'll go back to your normal robes. Oh, that's right. I just wish they didn't move. If they didn't move, it'd be amazing. Or we could roll with that. Oh yeah. I'm kidding. I actually would not. I just don't like a skirt. I know that we're in the 1800s, but ugh. I should be a good girl and put my robe back on. Maybe once we leave uh, Hogwarts, we can change that. Okay, you can do nothing about the levels. So level's just a number that allows you to do quests. Got it. Okay, well, I am highly disappointed. I didn't expect it. I'm so sorry, kid. <laughs> it to be so ugly. 